What is up, everybody? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast, what the world is listening to. I'm your host, The Hot Commodity and C, and we are jumping into our time machine to go back to the Attitude Years. We're covering WWE Raw is War from January 18th, 1999, live in Baymont, Texas. We start with a video package from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And then Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out to the ring to start. Stone Cold says, before I talk about the Royal Rumble, let's go back to when Vince McMahon almost pissed his pants when Mankind beat The Rock to become champion. Mick Foley is one tough bastard. Good news is that you're deserving a respected champion. The bad news, Mankind, is that WrestleMania Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to be in the other corner. Vince McMahon, you thought you were a mastermind. If you want me to beat Vince McMahon's ass all night long, give me a hell yeah. Vince McMahon, I'm going to beat your ass and win the Royal Rumble. You will know Stone Cold Steve Austin whipped your ass at the Rumble. So some very strong words for Stone Cold Steve Austin to Vince McMahon. We are a couple of days away from the Royal Rumble, so Austin definitely wants to let his feelings be known. We have the hardcore title on the line, the hardcore champion, the Road Dog, defending against Gangrel. In a decent hardcore match, Road Dog nails a suplex onto a table, and then Rodolk has can grow with a chair twice to get a three-count victory and to retain the hardcore championship. Next, we have Tess taking on Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn nails a fame master to Tess, but then Ken Shamrock attacks Billy Gunn from behind. After the match, Ken Shamrock clotheslines Billy Gunn and jumps Billy Gunn off the apron head first into the announce table and railing. Um, and then Ken Shamrock slaps Billy Gunn's heads into, onto the steps, slams them onto the steps, and then applies an ankle lock. Ken Shamrock causing major damage to Billy Gunn ahead of their title match at the Royal Rumble. Backstage, Royal Dog and the Doctors check on Billy Gunn's ankle. Jeff Jerry and, and De- Owen Hart and Deborah are backstage. Ken Shamrock and the Big Boss Man attack them. Guards have to separate the two teams. We see a promo of Vince McMahon training backstage. The Big Boss Man and Mankind are fighting with each other backstage. A lot of chaos. We see Dan Severn attacking Steve Blackman on heat, leading to her next match between Steve Blackman and Dan Severn. Uh, Steve nails a shoulder block, but then Dan Severn hits a low blow and applies a dragon sleeper on Blackman. Blackman gets the win by disqualification. Mankind and the Big Boss Men are still fighting backstage, and they go to the ring for the hardcore rules match. The WWE Champion Mankind defending against Tag Team Champion, the Big Boss Man. Uh, Mankind hits a double arm DDT, nails applies Sako, but then the rock hits mankind with a chair and a rock bottom onto the chair and basically we see um that the rock got the advantage over mankind ahead of their match at the pay-per-view mark henry's backstage she's begging china but she keeps on walking we get the nestle crunch slam of the week which was china eliminating vince mcmahon last week from royal rumble Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, The Rock, and Kane are all backstage, and Vince tells Kane he will listen to what Vince tells him. Next, China comes out and tells Mark Henry to tell the truth or she will tell everyone. Mark's like, I lied. We didn't do nothing. Just let me have the tape. China says, you wanted to screw me. Now you're screwed. We see footage of China's friend Sammy kissing Mark Henry and blowing him off and doing all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, He fills Sammy's ass and says, you got a penis. He freaks out and Sammy takes off her wig and it's actually a man. China says, I wouldn't have sex with you if you were the last man on earth. And then China low blows Mark Henry. China getting complete revenge on Mark Henry, getting back at him for lying about their relationship. During the break, Mark Henry's mom is seen hitting him backstage. So fun stuff there. Al Snow is taking on Goldust with Head. Al tries to steal Head on Heat, dressed like a hoe, but he's not able to. Back and forth action. Al Snow rolls up Goldust to get the win. After Al Snow headbutts Goldust, but Goldust hits a spine buster in Shattered Dreams. He grabs head and Goldust nails Al Snow with head and leaves. Minnie comes out. Another sacrifice is going to happen. The Undertaker comes out with the Acolytes and Paul Bearer. Undertaker says, your world is polluted with rotten souls. Midian was once a forgotten face. Now he sees and feels what you cannot. Midian was given everlasting life. The the ceremony has been scheduled on January 24th. The next sacrificial lamb will be led to slaughter. And your simple minds won't allow you to believe who the victim will be. So Undertaker promising to have someone join the corporation at the Royal Rumble. 
We see handicap match, Pat Powers and Gerald Briscoe taking on China. And this is actually a funny match. China gets the win after a DET on both men. She puts them each on top of each other and she sits on them and China gets the win. We get the WWE rewind from 10, 10, 20, 2, 20. The Rock pulling Kane off of Mankind last week, which now leads to our main event. The Rock with Vince and Shane, the corporation, taking on Kane. Vince says, nothing's going to happen. Just do the finger point thing. Vince tells Kane not to do anything stupid, but the corporation attack Kane and they stomp away. Rock attacks Kane. Kane fights back. And then Kane choke slams the Rock. And then it chokes in the test, but then the corporation attack Kane. Mankind runs out. The Rock goes up the ramp. And Austin is behind him to end Raw is War right before the Royal Rumble. We got a lot of stuff settled for the Rumble. A lot of more matches made. I'm excited. This is an okay edition of Raw. We're still, you know, waiting for more stuff to happen. But with that, until next time, stay safe and stay uncensored.